Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I did a complete Ariana Grande makeup and hair tutorial. Seeing as Ruth and I are always wearing her hair and makeup, I thought I would film it to show how we do it. Also, I would just like to explain, firstly, my voice is really raspy because I have, I'm a bit sick, I have a cough at the moment. And also, I did get something cut off my chest, so if you see that band-aid, it's nothing to worry about. So if you want to know how to complete this look, then keep watching! To start off, I've already moisturised my skin and next I'm just putting on some primer. I'm using the Chanel Sheer Illuminating Primer. Next I'm just going to be applying my foundation. And just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Next I'm just concealing under my eyes with this L'Oreal True Match. Anti-Fatigue Illuminating Concealer. To set my foundation, I'm just using my Bourjois Healthy Balance Unifying Powder. And I'm just going to be patting that in. Moving on to brows, I'm just going to be coming them through, filling them in with my MAC brow pencil and then gelling them down with the eyebrow gel. Moving on to eyes, I'm firstly going to be priming my eyelids with this MAC Paint Pot. The colours I'm going to be using are from the Naked palette, so I'm going to be using Buck and Half Baked. First off using Smog, I'm just going to be applying that to the outer eye. Next using a blending brush and just blending that out and throughout the crease. Now with Half Baked, I'm going to be applying that to the corner of my eye as well as my eyelid. Use padding motions for this as you'll get a darker colour. Next with a brown eyeliner, I'm just going to be lining the bottom waterline of my eye. Next I'm going to be lining my eyelids and slightly flicking it out. I'm using this Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Grabbing a crayon black eyeliner, I'm going to be lining the upper waterline of my eye. Joining the waterline eyeliner onto the eyeliner on your eyelid. So now that it's time for mascara, I'm just going to be curling my eyelashes and then using L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Back Mascara. Next, I'm just using Hula by Benefit to bronze my face. In most photos, Ariana isn't really wearing any blushes, mainly just wearing bronzer. But if you want to apply some blush, then I suggest a really light colour like this one here. So I'll be applying a tiny bit of that, but very, very minimal. Next, on to lips, I'm just going to be lining them with this MAC. Lip Pencil in Subculture. And the lipstick I'm using is Velvet Teddy by MAC. So that is the end of the makeup tutorial and next I'll be moving on to hair. So to start off Ariana's hairstyle we're going to be dividing the hair in two. This isn't as simple as just pulling half your hair up, there actually is certain areas that she pulls up so I'm going to be showing you that now you need to go behind your ear and approximately there so where your lobe kind of starts that's where the hair needs to start being pulled up I usually just do this with my fingers so um, I'll kind of show you what I do also when you put your finger there as you're pulling up 
kind of scoop inwards so that the hair that you're pulling up will fold over the hair that's coming down so you can't see a part if that makes sense. Okay, so as you can see, if I pulled the hair back like this, there's a part in there somewhere, but as I pull the hair over the part, all you can see is hair flowing out from underneath. So that's what you want. You also want it to come down this far because the point of this hairstyle is to make it look like you are wearing a high ponytail, but your hair is extremely long. So this top hair needs to cover your part. So that looks like one long hair length. The first thing you want to do is just make sure all your hair is smooth with your fingers. You don't need to use a brush at this time, you just kind of want to feel for any lumps that could occur and kind of comb them back with your fingers. Grabbing your hairspray, you want to spray down all the front section to make sure it is very slicked. At this point, you can brush it back with a brush. Make sure you only brush the top hairs as you do have falling hair underneath, which you don't want to pick up. Once you've got it to where you want, make sure you use an extremely strong and elastic hair tie to tie it, as this will prevent further lumps as well as hold it in place the entire wearable time. Now going back over with hairspray, we're going to be spraying down all those little bits again. And this time just using your fingers to kind of swoop the hair into the pony. So as you can see the hairstyle's already coming along. Only a few steps to go. So next I just usually grab a piece of hair either in this ponytail or lately I've been grabbing a piece of hair just from underneath here. And I use this to wrap around the ponytail. Now you want this piece to be quite thick because you want the ponytail to look quite thick as well. So don't grab a really thin piece of hair. You don't want that. You also don't want to be pulling it really tight around the ponytail. You want it to be quite loose. And now just using bobby pins to stick all that hair down. So basically the next step is to just curl all of your hair. So I'm going to be doing that now. You don't want to be curling right from the roots, just from about jawline down. Before I start curling, I'm just going to be putting a little bit of this Davro Smooth Senses Shine Fluid because it makes my hair more shiny and it also protects it from the heat. What I like to do to curl my hair is just divide it in two. And then what I do is usually curl sections and put it behind my back where it's out of the way. And then I move on to the other side curl it and put it behind my back. So there's curl number one, moving on. Make sure you also curl in different directions to increase volume. Make sure when you get to the bits that are going to be hanging next to your face, you curl them outwards, so not towards your face. So there's one side done. I do want these curls to drop slightly, so I'm not going to spray them until the end. Now just run your fingers through your hair to separate the curls. So now I'm going to be hairspraying all of these curls. So 
that's the final hair and makeup look of Ariana Grande. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time.